growing up an identical twin and having somebody that looks just like me was never weird because I I grew up with this person and she's my sister first and foremost so to me when I look at her it's not like looking in the mirror it's like it's just like looking at my sister now growing up that way was special and I, I don't think I started recognizing that until recently because Emily and I share a ton of the same experiences and by a ton I mean we we were born together so I have somebody to constantly be there with me and and kind of understand what I was going through on another level where I think anybody else even another sibling may not understand growing up it made life different I wouldn't say it made life easier or more or more difficult but it would definitely made life different um, we always had a best friend there so when we were playing we didn't really need other kids like preschool or kindergarten, they, our teachers always used to say they need to branch out. And that's why they split us up in school, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, they split us up in school and they said they need to branch out. But we always had each other. Um, it did make having friends a little more difficult. Um, but other than that, it's also been amazing having her. We always have each other. There's always somebody to talk to who will understand on a different level. And we can always fight and then come back together. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, I, but I think we also grew out of that a little bit. Uh, when we were little, we were always like always holding hands, always running around together. But then we we got older, and and school did. We weren't allowed to be in the same classroom, like they do with a lot of siblings. They um, so and, and that taught us to play with other kids, and and we really worked that out that way. But yeah, and we, the closeness never really went away. I had Megan and Emily together for one class, um, it's conflict resolution last year. Uh, it's the first time I ever got to see them interact together. Um, they're very close. Uh, they're very goofy <laughs> together, which is nice. Megan is sort of more of a, a big picture thinker. Um, you know, she's going to law school. She likes to play around with the rhetoric and she's comfortable with the gray area so she would often in class um, go off of people's comments and, and questions in terms of scenarios. Emily does a, a good deal of that too but she seems to be a little bit more comfortable in the details. She likes to crunch numbers, she likes to think about systems and how things work um, and you know she can do her her fair share of going through case studies and scenarios and thinking about things in different ways but uh, she's a little bit more comfortable I'd say crunching numbers and, and thinking about systems. I'm more of a outgoing, I'm very optimistic um, I'm out. I'm, I'm out there, and I and I like I'm closed to talk. off and dark. No, no, I'm optimistic, but you're more of a realist, and I like to be out there and meeting people and talk to people. And Megan follows and listens more than I do. Emily it puts herself out there a lot more, and she's more comfortable in putting herself out there. So, and that's amazing because I've always been able to kind of benefit from that. A lot of our friends have Emily said, hey, I'm Emily, and then I would, from behind, go, hey, I'm Megan, too. So, so that's how that works out. Emily, in terms of differences, Emily might be a little bit more um, likely to step up with her opinion sometimes. I feel like uh, Megan was a little bit more, she would think a little bit more and put things together first and sort of look at the facts. Um, and then, like I said, throw out a scenario or try to find out uh, whether those facts always apply or if sometimes it's different. Um, I feel like Emily is a little bit more um, straightforward uh, with her opinion, a little bit more um, likely to step forward with that first. Um, so maybe in that way, Emily is a little bit more extroverted. Um, I was just talking to Emily yesterday about how she knew that she wanted to come to SVC for a long time. She, she set her sights on it. She's very, Emily's very goal driven. Um, she sets a goal and she does what she needs to achieve it. Um, both of them are, are very accustomed to dealing with challenges, um, taking them on, and I think they're pretty used to achieving goals. We went to different colleges in the beginning. We, uh, Megan started at Utica and I went to get my first two semesters. Uh, and then we, she came over to Southern Vermont College with me. 
Um, we chose different colleges because we wanted two different things. Yeah, we both um, wanted different experiences. Emily wanted the small school, small like atmosphere, close knit. I wanted the more traditional college experience. Yeah. And uh, well, things changed with me. I, I didn't really enjoy <laughs> the big uh, the big school feel. And I realized my sister went to a small school. Maybe she was on to something. So I, I transferred. I, got, I sent my letters. I got accepted. And I transferred my sophomore semester. Yeah, and it turned out to work out really well for us, I think. We, right. you know, we got closer together. It was tough our, our sophomore year when you came. Yeah, uh, you trying know, to get back into a Living swing. together. Yeah, living together was... Trying to live together again was really... Especially so close. Yeah. But, yeah, because yeah, we, we, we basically went a year with seeing each other twice that year and then we went to living across the hall from each other which was a little odd so coming back together was a little difficult yeah. but we but did then, it and it ended up yeah, working out definitely um, we, swelled, we fell right back into that swing my sister i admire her because she has the uncanny ability and an ability i'm incredibly jealous of to see the good and the bad and to be able to power through a lot of adversity because she's she's been through a lot in the last four years and and a lot of stuff she shouldn't have had to go through and that and she's never just like sat down and said i can't do this i can't keep going and when uh, when i would have had i been in that situation i would have said you know what i can't do this anymore and, and she's she's an incredibly strong human being and i respect her more than than a lot of people for that reason. I admire Megan uh, for a lot of reasons, but the primary reason is because Megan has control. And even if she doesn't think she has control, she's got control over her, and again, a good kind of control, because control can be a bad thing, but Megan's really good at taking a situation, a bad situation, something where I would lash out and be very angry and over the top, and she can take it, internalize it, think about it, and come up with a productive, outcome you know where she i would be angry she would take it and go okay why am i angry why am i doing this and turn into a productive outcome and that's just an amazing quality to have and i don't think it's something you can learn i think it's something you know you're kind of born with something that's a difference between us is that i wasn't born with that their relationship is something that i feel like is unparalleled and you know in a way it kind of makes you jealous that you don't have uh, someone there like that who is so alike but also so different from you that you have your common ground and you also can appreciate what the other person adds to your life and that's really what I feel like um, they are and I look at them together it, it makes me feel um, it makes me happy and and I think that they appreciate each other and they, you know, they love each other very much. I could think of the, the research on twins saying that, you know, identical twins, yes, they share 100% of their genes, but they do not grow up in the same environment. And I think that Emily and Megan are um, an example of that, that they have both, um, like I said, they're both very tied to their roots, even though they both very much have wings, um, but they are they know where they come from and they know who they come from and they're true to that. Um, and you can see it in them, same environment, you know, very different career goals, very different sort of way of framing the world. Do we ever worry about splitting up again or our futures taking us in a different direction? I don't, I don't, um, because I think as we have grown older, we've taken, we stop taking our relationship for granted. I, at least I have, um, I thank myself, my God, I guess, every day that Megan is still, she still puts up with me. Um, you know, and our lives, right now at least, are very intertwined. You know, uh, okay. her boyfriend is my best friend. You know, we all love each other. We're in this. We have a lot of mutual friends. Yeah, we have. Yes, you have to. Yeah, you do. You have to as twins. Um, but I just, I think we will be okay. You know, even if she moves out to California, we will be okay. You know, we. It's just there's definitely a faith that comes with that a yeah. faith that you have that you're, you're eventually whether it's for two weeks out of the year or you see each other you live across the street from each other you're going to be together yeah so and i know it's i've not, always got her and she's always got me exactly so. it's all that matters really